Hi everyone, welcome to Wenhua Art YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about how to paint canvases for painting beginners. If you want to start oil painting or acrylic painting, this video definitely will help you. I want to help you to figure out what type canvas is good for you. There are many options available in the market. Uh, you can buy online or any art supplement stores. Since COVID-19, I strongly suggest you just buy online. So today I'm going to share with you experience to figure out what canvas is good for you. I'm not doing commercial, so I won't show the brand of any canvas. I just tell the difference and the different type and the different qualities between those canvases. Uh, if you just start to try some stroke or very simple painting, I think the canvas paper and the canvas panel is good enough. Look at the canvas paper, it's pretty thin, so you can imagine it doesn't hold the paints well, especially it's so a lot or wet painting or even some texture painting. It won't stay well. Uh, look at the canvas panel. Or canvas panel actually just uses the canvas paper ran around the hardboard. So also we can call canvas panel like call the canvas board. Either way, it's fine. Even the canvas panel is a little bit thicker than the canvas paper, but it still doesn't hold the wet painting. So they're gonna bend really bad. Uh, as my own experience. Even just a regular painting on the canvas panel with time going, it's gonna bend. I have that bad experience about use, using the canvas panel. So, uh, I mean, simple practice is fine because this is a two uh, canvas. This is a pretty cheap for the canvas panel and the canvas paper. You can got a really good deal for um for package. Right now, let we see these three pieces. They're all eight by eight inches. You can see even the same size. This one obviously smaller than others. I think the manufacturer didn't do a good job to <laughs> to measure it. Um, these two are slim stretch canvas. This one is deep stretch canvas. The main difference is in the back. You can see the difference between the wood frame. Just look at the wood frame. This one is the smallest one. And also it's really light. There is another thing you need to pay attention. There should be some room between the canvas and the wood frame. Currently, I don't have some really bad quality canvases. But if there is no room between the canvas and the wood frame, that is bad quality. Why I'm seeing that? Let me explain to you. When you are painting, you put on pressure on the canvas. If there is no gap between the canvas and the wood frame, your brush can fill it. So when you paint it, it will show the markers through the painting. I believe you can imagine if you look at the painting, then you can see the frame through the canvas. That's not good. Not to mention, all the paintings are gonna fade. So, the center of the painting will be different with the edge. If there's no gap between the canvas and the frame. Actually, those two pieces are about the same price. But this one, you can see the wood frame is a little bit bigger than this one. That means the sport of the cam is better. Let's look at this one. This is deep stretch canvas. Also, it is a gallery type. It's much heavier than this two. Just look at the back. You can see the gap is big. You the whole finger, not to mention the whole finger you can put in, this is 1.5 inches deep. 
I love this one so much. Also, you can see the stretch really tight. It is good. The gallery quality canvases are really good. Not like those two, they're sagging. But look at the back, they're stumbles. So if you're feeling the canvases are sagging, you can re-stretch them again. But I believe that's kind of a bit of pain for the beginners. Look at this one. This is a 10 by 10 inches square canvas. Just look at the frame. I believe you can tell the shape is perfect. Compare with those two, this perfect square. Just look at the edge, this big difference. This one, the edge is sharp, but those two, the edge are kind of round. So it's, you can tell it's not so good. Also, this 10 by 10 inches is 3 quarter inches deep. But this one kind of have a little bit of issues too. You can see it didn't stretch well. It's pretty, pretty loose. I believe the manufacturer can do a better job. Let's go back to look at those two pieces. After we compare four type canvases, I believe you have an idea. Those two are not so good. <laughs> so it's a little bit of poor quality. And I have an idea for a better use of these poor quality canvases. So when you're painting, you can put masking tape around the canvas. So when you're painting, you leave a little bit of edge to them. So you won't touch that part. After you're done painting, you remove the ta tape that can help your painting looks much better. Here is the last canvas I want to show you. This is a black canvas. You might have seen some artists are using black canvas for some type painting, like for the night or just pure black background. It is pretty cool. It helps you save time to priming your canvas. So if you like the black canvas, you can get that online too. I really love the gallery quality canvases, but the price is not so friendly. It is about double twice the regular canvas. So, I mean, you can think about your finance. Basically, the rules for picking the canvas is how much you can afford. <laughs> okay, I hope you get the general idea for how to pick a canvas for beginners. Next time, I'd like to share the experience for picking the acrylic paints. If you think my video helps you, please hit the subscribe button, like and share. See you next time. Bye-bye.